everyone welcome back to my channel another halloween decoration idea that you can do with kids or yourself if you want to but let's get into it so sorry for the bad a uh, showing of this but here is a halloween ghost uh hanging decoration guys simple to make not expensive at all so let's get started so what you will need is a white uh, paper plate um, they're cheap you can buy them anywhere some kitchen roll um, that I've already cut into strips doesn't matter what size it depends where, wherever you're going for some sellotape some scissors double-sided tape but I'm not going to use double-sided tape uh, because I want to make it as cheap and easy as possible so let's get started oh and also before I get started uh, some black card that I bought from Poundland and that doesn't have to be card it could be paper it could be googly eyes it could be anything you want but for this one that's what I use so on your paper plate I've already cut out some eyes and a mouth and I've done the old fashioned what I call the old fashioned method of the sellotape um, so it makes a double sided tape so it's a lot simpler so there we go we just stick one eye there like I said you can use googly eyes put on top of there it's your choice but just for now that's what I'm going to use and stick on his mouth so now I'm going to show you how I did the dangling bits at the bottom. So I'll just put that against there. If my camera focused. So I've already took off some sellotape because I don't know about you, but when it comes to sellotape, it doesn't go the way I want it. And it would just uh, close and then it takes a long time to take off. So there's one piece there. And I'm going to do the next piece. I'm going to do a long piece. Get some more bit of sellotape. Like I said, you can do this with your kids. And they can sit down and do it. And then you don't have to be tickly there. If you want to do other pieces or things around the house. Or whatever you want to do. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to use a shorter piece. Next. And stick that there. And now you can use as many as you want, for the length you want, whatever you got, or whatever you want to use. Another piece ready. And one more piece. And use a short piece now for the end. There we go, that is the back, so i trying to make it as far so you can see it. There it is, and there's the dangle bits. Now, let's put him down for a second, I'll just show you um, how I make the like holder handle type thing so you can hang it on the ceiling, or you can leave it blank and stick it on the wall, whatever is your choice. So what I did, is I've got some kitchen roll. Um, let me just get the piece. I use two squares to make it longer or whatever length you want to use. That is again totally up to you. And all I did was I cut, say, I don't know, two inches. I'll say I'm not very good at like straight away measurements, it doesn't have to be two inches. It could be whatever size you want. Sorry, that was off the camera a little. And all I did was get it and twist it like that. All the way to the bottom. And as tight as you can. And to stop it coming open and to make it a bit stronger is I've got here some more sellotape. 
and all I did now is put that on there and twisted it instead of it sticking to me oh can't get started Ugh. here we go now we got somewhere to start sorry it's sticking on other things at the moment There we go, got to start. Now, it could be kind of sticky, obviously, and tricky, but while well, you get the hang of it. There we go, now we got somewhere. See, I can't really see what I'm doing. One second, guys. It's getting all tangled up with itself. So I'll just start it off a little bit. See, there we go, now we've got somewhere. See, now I've got the hang of it. It's so simple. Now I'll just get another piece of sellotape to finish the bottom off. Again, this can be as long as you want, as short as you want. It depends on your preference. And that's if you want to do it off the ceiling. You can just stick it on the wall as it is or wherever you want to put it. Now... Let's see how we go on this one. Lot, now I've got the hang of it. There you go. So I'm going to leave that end. Now let's turn it around. Again, some more sewing tape. Or you can use glue. Um... It's totally up to you. Now I'll put this on the back. Like so. Find the top. Stick that on. You can do as many layers as you want. But there you go, guys. That is a simple... Let's bring me back a little bit. A simple... There's the top. Come through with the ghost. And there's the bottom. So that is a simple way decoration that you can do, kids and cost nothing if you put in mind that kitchen roll you should already have in your house or toilet paper black card uh depends where you buy it could be a pound if you could get it cheaper that'd be better and paper plates you get so many for like a pound in pound land or whatever you know so that is it uh fun for the kids to do uh cheap and a lovely Halloween decoration as well. So thank you for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Please give me a big thumbs up. Woo. And please leave me comments below. And I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who subscribed to my channel. I can't believe I've got 45 uh, subscribers. Just to let you know, when I get to 50 subscribers, I will be doing a Q&A um so when i get to uh 50 i would like people to give me some questions so you get to know me a bit more um yeah so thank you for watching